What's up you guys, Killamack84 here again. Pretty much, it was a very exciting day for me. I just checked my my delivery and I just got my water cooling system um, at the XXPC Rasta 450 RS120 water cooling kit. You can tell right here, it's just a blank box. This is my full water system. Uh, it's this review is gonna be very long probably the whole 15 minutes just want to show you a little bit actual my red tubing I got this is 716 by 5 5 8 inner diameter uh, it's pretty pretty uh, fat I should show you the actual uh, sticker self you see inner diameter 716 by 5 8 outer diameter 5 8 I got my cutter by I don't know what new that company, don't care. It's to cut my stuff off the paper. Got my actual uh, one fourth I'll do the unboxing a little bit. There's two There's threads, There's one. I got some extra ones. Just uh Never know if I gotta do something. They're one, one for a few bucks. They're by XXP company. There's another one. We do have uh, dead water and the silver. It's for one drop of dead for the drink palms. I got my my cap, my drain flow. I got ten of these uh, extra uh, gator clamps. I got a T. That's about it, pretty much. With the tubing. Now let's actually unbox the actual kit itself. I got my trusty knife. It did take a long time to be delivered. It's kind of very frustrating, but whatever. So the first thing you actually get in a kit is two, uh, actually, lift this up. You get two meters of uh, 716 by 5 8 clear uh, tubing, pretty much. It's about six feet, I believe. The other one, my red one's about uh, 10 feet. Meters is about part eight, I believe it might be wrong. You get a grill. You should get a fan with it. You get a fan. It's a 120 generic fan. So really don't care about that. so much stuff around here. You got the tight uh, gator clamps. You got six more of the one fourth by one and a half bearing uh, ball bearings, what they call them. And you got the actually the mount clamp for the actual uh, to mount the your, uh, the red. This is the, see, that's actually the motor, the acrylic motor, yep, and here is the actual, uh, the AMD bracket, with the new ones come up, the original ones are chrome, this is, it comes with the new ones, this is AMD now, AM3, AM2, plus an AM2 compatible and I believe that this is going to be compatible with the AM3 plus coming up this by by end of the year so it will be nice for uh, for the AMD users and Intel um, 1366 takes 1156 and 775 now I'm confirm on the website that all kits 360 240 120 kits do take 1155 socket 
uh, exclusively now for that. So it was nice to have a, you could vice versa going to AMD or uh, kids. So it was, really, it was a nice thing to have. So let me show you actual uh, the rad. This is a 120 rad. Very generic, simple uh, rad. See right here. It's very lightweight. It has like that simple. Uh, it's just glossy. It's not. It just it doesn't look cheap. But I like it. See that? Very small. You got your end caps right here. Let's take off the rad. Actually, you hear me? Put the camera down. You see right here. Pretty nice. It's a 120, no, uh, 120 fan, rad. Let me show you the, the PC acrylic. You got some, uh, some, uh, actually double sided, uh, protected, uh, sticky, uh, double sided, uh, for the actual acrylic may not use it i'll use something else but it's remember this this is uh acrylic so you gotta be very careful when you type the, the one and a half bears and you got the led that goes inside the entire gun and it's see-through acrylic Put this up a little bit there it is and you got the cap itself it's pretty and simple, very small. You got just a two pin to uh, power it up, very simple. Just inspecting it, the motor's inside. Yeah, pretty good. It's not bad, I like it. Just inspecting it a little bit so there's no cracks in it or anything. Looks pretty good. There you go. Set blur a little bit. I'm going to show you the, the, the main room, the block. This cost me $124 out the door to be delivered and everything uh, by uh, XOS. Uh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'll put on the, on the description of the website. Um, we got here actual uh, clamps. I'll put that down a little bit. Here's actual clamps down. Yeah, thermal paste again. You got two thermal pastes all together. You got the L wrench to actual uh, to tie it down. You got all Intel clamps. And here's actual the water block. Very nice. This is the best uh, block around. Made in UK. This company is from the UK. And I'm very happy they try and get American to do the. Uh, American companies, not too many of the big companies are doing it because of liability. So here is the Rasta water block. Very simple to do. Uh, just to learn how to do it. You have 775, 1366, and 1156. So you got the AMD kit in it. Let me open it up. A little hard time here not to pull up the knife.
here it is. I'm gonna leave it on the bottom a little bit because of uh, keeping the the bottom piece uh, clean. So leave that alone. So here it is, pretty much. So pretty much here's the unboxing of it. I'm gonna let you guys go. Just trying to rip a little bit. Anyway, this Killer Mike 84 is gonna be part two of uh, installing actually the AMD bracket instead of uh, having Intel. Be right back. Uh, I'm gonna install the block from here and put the AMD side of mine. You can tell here, there is the kit, actual springs, and more thermal paste. And I'm gonna use this one this time because it comes with the There's four screws in here. You gotta be very careful using this, uh, taking off the block. Okay, you might damage, you might damage threads and you wanna use this later on for a different build if you want. I have not took my uh, computer apart yet. Cause that's gonna take a little bit to do. This might take me a few hours, almost a whole day to do this. So I don't know. This is my first water block, so it might take a little bit longer. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, what install where to where. Just slides off. It's just a bracket. Here's actually a water block. I'm not going to, uh, wait a minute. There's actually a piece of shroud on there. You can tell inside here's a water block itself. I'm not going to open in it for any reasons. I'm going to do the block this way, facing like this. Right here, like that. It's pretty nice. Very simple clean so let me install the actual AMD one that's all you gotta do slide it over just probably should put the Don't turn it up too much right here. Plus my finger, I uh, hurt myself a little bit. My finger, you can tell right here, is swollen a little bit. Right there, my thumb. My middle finger is getting on my thumb. It's swollen, so I gotta take it easy a little bit until I get better. So pretty much, it's, it's pretty simple to do this. It's just got to do. That's all it is. So this is pretty much my uh, unboxing and installment of my my Rasta block to uh, AMD. Um, it's pretty simple. And I'm going to do a couple more videos how to actually install the whole system and the motherboard and the block and 
it's gonna be a long day. Alright guys, can I make it for it? See you guys a little bit later.